A relationship truly only works when a woman settles for a man that she considers mid. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I used to talk so much shit about girls who settled and now I hope to become one. <laughs> because when a woman does the opposite and falls in real love with someone she's attracted to and who's at her level, it's a disaster. That's when the power dynamic and balance gets thrown off kilter because the man doesn't hold her on a pedestal. So she never has the upper hand. And that makes her feel crazy, delulu, out of control. Stop it. Get some help. Because the attractive ones are putting me into a crazy, anxious cycle. Shut up, bitch! Ladies, gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the content you love to hate. Today, guys, before we get started with this insufferable woman in her 60s, what's that editor? You're telling me she's in her 40s? I don't know, man. Look 60 to me. I don't trust you there. But anyways, guys, I, I don't want to brag, but yesterday, I, I absolutely do. I helped um, Locke the Bounty Hunter animate his character. Right? So w when was the last time, guys, you've, you've seen a... 4,000 year old mummy be a technology, you know, witty mummy. <laughs> when was the last time? But anyways, guys, let's get started with today's episode because this woman has the key to successful marriages. She has the wisdom, guys. So we're going to listen to her and see how she figured that out. She's not married, by the way, uh, for anyone wondering. She's not in a 20 year old a uh, successful marriage no she's single at 40 50 or whatever she is but she just has the wisdom and the understanding so we're going to take a listen a relationship truly only works when a woman settles for a man that she considers mid i used to talk so much shit about girls who settled and now i hope to become one because when a woman does the opposite and falls in real love with someone she's attracted to and who's at her level it's a disaster that's when the power dynamic and balance gets thrown off kilter because the man doesn't hold her on a pedestal. So she never has the upper hand. And that makes her feel crazy, delulu, out of control. Because what we're supposed to do as women is just like be receptive, like allow him to pursue us and chase us, like even in a long-term relationship. If you're with a man you're not even really that attracted to, you're gonna do that naturally because you don't give a fuck. But if you're in love, you give so many fucks. These couples you know that have made it work and are together in our modern society have followed this formula. Do you resonate with that, guys? Do you think that's how it works? No, I'll tell you what. Relationships work when a woman respects her man. That's it. And then, yes, the man uh, valuing her woman and all that. But it all stems from the fact of the woman respecting the man. Now, you don't need to be a six feet, six digit salary guy for a woman to respect you. The key is in her not being a harpy just like this one right here. All right, this woman... Even if you put her on a pedestal, it's, it's not about the pedestal, guys. It's about her not being able to stay in a committed relationship for the life of her. Damn, what a harpy. This is Baba Yaga's sister, by the way. Now, let's continue. Nice guy who the woman isn't attracted to and who she never considered being with finally wore her the fuck down until she said, ugh, fine, I guess. Because the attractive ones are putting me into a crazy, anxious cycle. And now that woman is bored and sexually unfulfilled, but she's secure. At least she has that emotional security. The most important what are you bet, guys, that this woman hasn't had one second of emotional security throughout her whole life? <laughs> Can you imagine going back from work and this is what you come to? Damn, so unpleasant. I don't know. I'd rather be married to... I don't know, guys, just think of... I'm trying to think of a horrible creature, but compared to what we're seeing on screen, it's hard, it's hard for me to think of. Element for a woman to have to ensure success in a romantic partnership. If you're a girl who has done that, good for you. You go, Glenn Coco. You did it right. 
Now you can be done with going on first date after first date with really good looking, dusty boys who are gonna waste your time. Those of us who are actually in love are in so much therapy and holding on by a thread and acting out and posting unhinged TikToks. Your mid king was the move. Your mid king, she says. So all guys who are nice and not players are mid. It's the best they can strive for in life, you know? Now this woman has a distorted uh, understanding of how men are supposed to be. First off, she mentioned during the video that uh, when I am in a relationship with a man at my level, he leaves me and disrespects me. No, madam, he's not at your level. He is way, way um, ahead of your level, right? This is why they leave you, because they have so many options that they wouldn't settle for a dusty like you. Like They are not at your level by any means. And then she also mentioned that she should, you know, she has to uh, step down from her pedestal in heaven, you know, drop down from the sky like an angel uh, to settle with these men that, you know, have nice jobs and have nice morals and treat their families right and all this crap, you know, that make up for good fathers, all the boring stuff, you know. Uh, she has to step down, guys, for them. But the truth is, uh, a dog's piece of shit on the street has way more value than this woman. So she's not actually stepping them down for them. Uh, but that's the idea she has in her head, right? She's absolutely messed in the head. Uh, but, well, I guess that's something you already can tell from this video. Women need someone better than them. Smarter than them, fitter than them, bigger than them, more inspiring than them, more successful than them. Otherwise, uh, wh where's the attraction? I'm, no, I'm asking. Maybe some women don't mind, but I mind. I need to be inspired by the guy, otherwise... I'll eat them for breakfast. I also need someone to handle me. And only an alpha or a double alpha can do that. Now, you're definitely gonna eat me for breakfast, but not in the way you mean. Well, what can I tell you guys? It's actually true, you know? Women want a man that is better than them. You know, more attractive, more capable, more controlling of the situation. But my question is, w wouldn't that make us the prize? Now, you don't have to say this to women, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them that men are the prize. Uh, but according to her, and I, I think she's right. According to her, we are the prize, guys. You know what? So don't settle, kings. You are the kings, all right? These women are mere peasants, all right, in the world. You are the prize. You are God's gift to the earth. So, you know, increase them standards. I think you guys are all a prize. You're all amazing. And you deserve nothing less than 10 out of 10 model, all right, with big melons. Oh, well, according to your preferences. But now, guys, let's continue. And we're going to continue with this one right here. You can see the look of just unimaginable happiness in her life. She's going to tell us about her dates. And this woman has been on the channel previously. I remember the faces. It's so funny, guys, isn't it? That a lot of these women, we see them complain. We see them saying how they won't settle. We see them saying how they won't repeat the same mistakes. How they are done with dating. I'm done. I'm just done with men. And then two weeks later, we see them again on the channel. <laughs> well, let's get started, guys. It's 11 p.m. Get ready with me to go on a hinge date with a guy that I just started talking to 16 minutes ago. We're going to go meet up at a diner. And if I get murdered, that's who did it. So what are your takes, guys? Is this guy attractive or not? What is the reason for a woman to go on a date with a guy who she met 16 minutes ago? Is it A, his nice personality, B, his great understanding of 18th century literature, or C, uh, that he is a child? <laughs> Leave me your comments down below, guys. The real truth is that I haven't eaten dinner, and a big reason for that is because our gas has been off for like the last week. I have not. I'm sure you'll eat something when you meet him. I've been paying the bill, allegedly, so um, we're in a bit of a drought in terms of gas, and that means that I can't cook. So I haven't eaten dinner yet, and so I was like, I want to go to a diner. So I started talking to somebody on Hinge, and I was like, let's go to this diner. And I think he thinks that I'm being kind of manic pixie dream girl, like, it's it's 11 on a Monday, but I don't care, let's go to the diner. But really, I just haven't paid my gas bill, and I'm hoping that if I get a man to take me to this diner, he will pay for my food. Yeah, you, you know what guys, I actually failed. I actually thought that this guy is a Chad, but these women are all harpies. So maybe he's not a Chad, 
Uh, she's just going for the free meal, right? I forgot about that, guys. Damn it. Uh, it really showed my lack of understanding there. Holy crap. I made a mistake, guys. So, th there's a new possibility that he is not a chat, but she's just there for the money, which is nothing new when it comes to the dating world. I'm sure that many of you gentlemen, you've been on dates, and this is solely what you've been there for in the eyes of women. They, they don't even remember your name, your face. They don't care at all. They don't, they don't even know who you are between the 16 men that they text on on a daily basis they just you are uh, option c when it comes to having a free meal you know so let's hear the end of this romantic and filled with love story in terms of getting ready though i look bad and a big reason is because i haven't showered in a few days because again our gas isn't on so our water heater isn't heating so i haven't showered since like yeah like friday or thursday maybe and so i'm like gross i still have some makeup mm. on from work so i'm gonna kind of use that to my advantage i'm just gonna sort of put on more foundation do, 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 do. also this really is just like we're going to a diner like we can't have sex because i have a uti right now so um i'm gonna be uh what's uti i really don't know the is that an STD? <laughs> I don't think it is, but uh, I think it's a... Uh, you, know, you know what you guys tell me? I, I can't guess the word. Be so coy and mysterious if he wants to hook up. I'll be like, not tonight. But it's like, yeah, because I'm on antibiotics for a raging infection. Well, <laughs> alright then. <laughs> wow, I really wish I was the guy that was going on a date with this woman, eh guys? Like, right now, there's nothing better I can do. Uh, than be on a date with this woman. I'm just so jealous of this guy, you know? He's going to go there, pay for the meal, have an absolutely interesting and exciting conversation with this woman, and then get home um, w without getting anything in return. Just, ah, I wish so much I was this guy. But guys, can you, can you take a guess at the comments that this woman would receive from other women? Oh, you go, qu uh, queen. What a funny story. It's hilarious. Oh, so good. You're gonna have a free meal. You deserve it, queen. And all that bullcrap, right? Just imagine a man going on TikTok saying how he hasn't showered for a few days. He's going on a meal just to take advantage of the other woman in the most superficial and parasitic way. Yeah, picture if a man does that. Picture what the feedback will be from, uh, you know, society. A and make your own assumptions then about who is the privileged one in dating. But now, guys, let's move on to the Reddit story, uh, which is, again, a liberal woman. I think we did one liberal woman yesterday or the day before. But, but they're just so hilarious, all right? So, title is Conservative Men and Online Dating. What I found is many conservative men will not put their political affiliation on their profile. Okay, that's fine. But yes, guys, never put your political affiliation on your dating profile. Uh, you're not there to meet the love of your life and your soulmate, so it doesn't matter. You, by putting your political affiliation, you're just gonna, uh, you know, all the women that are against your political affiliation are just going to immediately dismiss you. Even though most of them don't understand crap about politics or whatever, uh, but yeah, so you're gonna miss out if you put it. I continue. So you be begin talking and all seems good. Here are things I've heard. I believe in compromise and communication, I value honesty, but it doesn't take long before their views show through. Again, some things I've heard. Yeah, the last woman I talked to was a psycho. How does that have to do anything with political affiliation? That is just a statement, doesn't... Anyway, I don't know what else to expect. I served this country for 10 years. My patriotism is clear. Oof, guys, disgusting. Can you imagine loving your country? Wow, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's so cringe, guys. Who loves his country? I mean, we all know that we have to hate everything. Our families, our country, just everything that has achieved or constructed something or built something, we must hate it, according to these, this woman's uh, beliefs. I'm middle right, but I'm not political. But when I tell them I am fine with your political views, but I don't want to date a Trump supporter, these guys flip so fast. <laughs> Whoa, you are so political. Uh, you're going to let someone who votes for Trump, let's say, stop you from dating them. Clearly, you hate Trump. You listen to the media. And that's pretty much where it ends. It just feels hopeless to find a normal guy. 
Of course it, it seems hopeless. You're dismissing all the normal guys. <laughs> no, guys, I won't get political, all right? This channel will never get political. I really don't care who you're voting for. Um, I'm up for discussion. I think it's a great thing to do. You know, the world has come to hate literally everyone who is different for them. Uh, but I may, you know, debate enjoy it. But hear me out. The current... Um, political leader let's say of the united states of america and i hope you don't hate me for this uh, but the current president of the united states of, of america is by far the worst president i've seen throughout my whole life all right sorry if that is political i'm trying not to be but i, I mean i just think it's common sense i think everybody can agree with that all right now i'm not saying the opposition is good i'm not saying anything i'm not getting political but come on man really and I want to show you a GIF. I'm sure all of you know this, right? But I'm going to show you this GIF. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> this is my favorite GIF on the whole internet. <laughs> anyway, if for those of you not watching, it's a woman. Uh, oh, sorry, not a woman. A gender neutral person having a tantrum because the opposition of what she wanted uh, to, you know, to lead the country won. Uh, this is when Trump was being elected. And look, man, again, not to get political, and I know liberal people that are down to earth, and they know their stuff, and they're, you know, just normal. But when it comes to the extreme and the loud part of the political spectrum, the people on the left are just nuts, right? Like, when you think of extreme uh, right people or traditional people, you don't get these pictures, or at least not in the same um, magnitude, you know? Like, yes, there are some weirdos in both, you know, parts of the spectrum. But when it comes to being absolutely insane, uh, the left just takes the crown, all right? Like, all these people that are... They cannot, they cannot pick a gender, they cannot pick a S3 actuality, uh, they cannot pick the same color of hair for more than three days. Give me a break, man. You know, guys, you're good that you're not dealing with a woman like this. Like, like this one re we read here. And again, this whole, you know, conversation we're having is, again, not to be political. Like, again, guys, I don't care who you're voting for. Uh, I'm up for debate. Everything is good. But I'm, I want to talk about traditionalism, all right? You, you could say that conservatives are more traditional, which is true. But here's the thing. Women, um, by, by default, they are more liberal adjacent. And men, by default, are more traditional adjacent. Now, of course, there are tons of men who are left-wing and tons of women who are right-wing. But the reason I'm saying this is because women, they are wired to be more understanding towards people, you know, to find common ground, to sympathize more with emotions and all that, which is a good thing, of course. Uh, while men, on the other hand, they are, they are more, fo more focused on a sense of justice, if I can say so, you know. Um, they are more focused on that. And this is why you have more men interested in politics than women. And this is also why men nowadays get called 15 words that end in East and Phobe if they don't necessarily agree with literally everything under the sun, alright? <laughs> like, yes, some men... Don't agree or like everything under the sun. That doesn't make them a nist or a phobe. Uh, but that's uh, today's world, guys. You know, that's today's day and age. Dating and all that. But what can I tell you? Run from, f run for the hills. You see a woman like this. Not, not because you're political. Guys, it has nothing to do with politics. It's, it's not because this woman is, uh, you know, left-wing. It's just because, you know, just statistically speaking... The marriages that tend to work are the traditional ones, the conservative ones, the, the right-wing ones, if you want to say it that way. They are the ones that work because it's all, you know, it's, it's a bigger picture. It's not because of their political affiliation, but their political affiliation has to do with a lot of things that are part of human nature. That's what, why they're called traditionalists. You know, they want to preserve, they want to... Uh, preserve the the traditions which have been serving humanity for thousands of years and i'm not meaning to say that change should not happen that left wing is only bad no i think left wing has its place on this world uh, but when it comes to marriages 
if you are a guy who is really liberal, I tell you what, it's just not going to work, right? Do you agree with me on that statement, guys? I mean, women in general, they don't respect the left-wing guys. You know, they want a man who um, is up for all the womanist propaganda. They want a man who believes everything that the media says. They want... That's what they say they want, anyway. They want a man who supports, uh, you know, female laws, if you know what I mean. Uh, but then you get this guy and he, he, he has pink hair. He's never lifted a weight in his life. He cannot unscrew a light bulb. <laughs> you know, he, he talks about his feelings and about his emotions. Uh, he, you know what, guys? I, I cannot even continue with the examples because I'll get banned. But they, they don't like this type of man. They like the old styled, old fashioned type of guys who are, you know, in control of the situation, who can manage their way around a woman, who succeed in social atmospheres. You know, they want a guy who is traditional, they want a guy who is conservative. That is their, their appeal, you know. But they cannot, uh, they, they cannot come to terms with that because they are so modern and independent and all that. <laughs> so, this woman, she says she wants a quote-unquote normal guy. A guy who is not a Trump supporter, a guy who is not conservative, a guy who is not a patriot, right? A guy who is just uh, on, on the wave with all the modern bullcrap. Uh, but if she were to meet that man, she just wouldn't respect him at all, right? But we'll finish on that uh, thought, gentlemen. You learned something new today, and it is that patriotism is bad. And serving your country is bad. I mean, let, let all countries disappear, if you ask me, you know? Let, let all countries just go into uh, devastation and go into the void, because country is overrated. But guys, we're going to close the video here as I switch on to the wrong scene. Thank you for watching. Leave me your thoughts down below. Leave me your thoughts about patriotism. Uh, just a little sub note here. I'm not talking about the military corpus. I'm not talking about the way things go administ uh, You know, in terms of administration. No, I'm just saying that if you're a decent human, you have to love your country. But my country has done bad things. Okay, every country has done bad things. What, you think there's a perfect country out there? You, you think there's a country that is godlike? No, and countries in the end, they're not something that exists on its own. It's just, you know, a country is a the sum of all its people, of all the people in the past, of all the people that are today, of the, the religious background the country has and all that. Why wouldn't you love that? And you don't have to necessarily agree with, any, with everything to love your country. Just respect the people before you. Respect what they have built. These people, guys, that hate patriotism... I'm sorry to go on a limb right now, but I just want to make it clear. These people that hate their countries, they live in their, you know, comfortable homes, air-conditioned. They live uh, a, a richer life than like 99% of people before them. You know, they, they live so comfortably because thousands of people in the past have spent their whole lives working, building up the country that they live in. Only for them... For these pathetic individuals to now say, I hate my country. It could be so much better. I just hate it. It's so old-fashioned and stupid. Uh, all right, you make it better. Or you know what? You go to one of the countries that actually sucks and, and you turn it into a good country. How about that? Because it's so easy to just sit on your behind in your comfortable IKEA sofa, uh, you know, on, on, a, on a home that somebody else built, on a street that somebody else constructed, on a whole city that took hundreds of years to develop to this level so you can be comfortable and you can have a shop uh, at every mile only for you to whine about it. I know, guys, I just find it so disrespectful. But leave me your thoughts down in the comments. I'll be happy to hear them. And I'll be happy to see you next time, guys. Have a good one.